Hey guys, I am back! Yay! Finally, at long last, with my desktop reorganization video. If you were with me last year, I did a huge series where I reorganized my entire office, like from ceiling to floor, and it was a big project. And I had a whole series dedicated to it, and I will link. Um, the final video down below because in the more description area of that video are links to all of the videos that I filmed in that series. So that will be linked below if you guys want to check it out. Um, honestly, the organization of the office in the other areas has not changed really at all since that. It's still working for me, but I did have to go ahead and change my desktop organization uh, because I wanted to expand to a second monitor. If you look behind me, you can actually see my second monitor right there, actually. Let's do this. Oh, there's both monitors. That was exciting, wasn't it? It was exciting. The reason for that is because I spend quite a lot of time uh, editing both video and photographs, as well as researching things online and um, writing things for my blog. Um, so I have a lot of screens open at any given time. And while I have a huge computer, I have like, I think it's a 27 inch iMac, which is a big screen. It's still, when you have a lot of different programs open, especially um, editing programs, like I use Final Cut Pro to edit video and Photoshop, um, for the most part, to edit photographs. Um, I mean, those are big programs and they benefit from having a large space. So I love having the two screens. It's just made my life easier. It's not two computers, it's just two screens. Um, and I realized when I wanted to expand the two screens that I was not gonna be able to fit two big monitors on my hutch, uh, which I had. It was like a seven inch raise, a hutch. Uh, but I had been noticing, especially over the past six months, um, that my neck was really, really sore a lot. And I was having a lot of neck problems and I realized eventually, I don't know why it took me so long to realize it, but it was due to the hutch and looking up at my computer all the time. Um, ideally, you wanna look straight ahead at your computer. So if you have a laptop, you want it to be raised a bit. And if you have a desktop, you want it like right on your desk, right at eye level. Um, and mine was not at eye level and it was creating problems. Um, so getting the second monitor, which made me get rid of the hutch was actually a really good thing for my neck. Um, so that's what happened and that's what inspired me to reorganize my desk. Um, and it's just a little little tweaks here and there, uh, but I, I wanted to share it with you guys because I did that whole big series last year and I want to share with you when I update things like this in my house. Um, it's small changes, I mean they're kind of, it's like medium changes, okay? but. It feels big to me and I just am really enjoying it. Um, so without further ado, I'm gonna take you in and share with you my desktop reorganization. Welcome back to my office. If you watched my office organization series last spring, you'll be familiar with um, the way most of the office looks, but it has changed a bit, most specifically this corner. Um, I decided to go ahead and get a second screen. Um, I have one computer, but an additional screen now, just because with the amount of editing I'm doing between video editing and photo editing for my blog, and all of the things that go into what I do with making videos and blog posts. It's just a lot more convenient to have two screens. Um, so I have an iMac and then I just got the Mac extension screen. But I couldn't fit them both up on my hutch. And as I mentioned before, I noticed that with my computer up on the hutch, which was probably about a seven inch raise, uh, it was really causing a lot of neck problems for me and it took me a while to figure out what that was about. But since I removed the hutch, because I couldn't fit both screens on it, it's made a huge difference. So obviously that was the, the problem. But anyway, the I just wanted to share with you the things that I updated. So um, basically, I'll insert a shot here before so you guys can see what the desktop looked like before. So the shelves and everything around it is just the same, but because it was so much lower, I felt like I was really missing something in that wall space between 
the uh, computer, the top of the computers and the bottom shelf because I had originally placed the shelves with the hutch in mind so that they were a little bit higher. Um, so what I did was I found these, uh, this little rail system, it's actually a kitchen organization from Ikea and it was very inexpensive um, and I decided to put this in this space because I like the way it fit Oh, and please excuse the holes in my walls. I am waiting to get some paint. I need new paint so I can match before I patch up my walls. So there's a couple of holes you'll see and a line. I just need to paint over those things and patch up my wall. But anyway, I wanted something that would fit really nicely in there but still not be too bulky. Like another shelf was going to be too much. Um... And also because I took away the hutch, I took away a lot of my um, desktop organization like spots, little stashes, because the hutch had built-in organization components. Um, so I found this system and I just thought it was so cute. Um, the main impetus for it was so I could hang my medals there. Uh, those are my half marathon medals from all the Disney races I've been in. Um, and I don't have a lot going on in there right now. I have, you know, my project management notebook in that big long one and a couple of other... Um, like directories and things and my scissors but that's pretty much it but it's room to grow and I just really like the way it looks um, I wish I could get my medals to be a little bit higher up so they didn't dip below the desk but I'm I mean below the uh, monitor but I'm still working on how to figure that out everything else above it is exactly the same as it was when I shared last year I did not change that at all I did have to move my um, Pottery Barn daily system over. Uh, I moved it all the way over to the edge of the wall, you can see here. Um, and it was just really easy because the way that the um, it was drilled into the wall, it lined up. So I only had to drill in a couple new holes. Um, it just lined up really well. And I just moved that over, no biggie. Um, and then everything on this desk is pretty much the same. This is just my filing cabinet, my lateral filing cabinet, and all of this furniture is from Pottery Barn Bedford Collection, um, and I've had it since we moved into the house seven years ago. So I've got my printer on there and just regular stuff. But the main things that I changed, obviously, were the desktop. Um, so I took away the hutch, like I said, that took away a lot of my desktop organization areas. And I really wanted the desk to be a lot clearer, especially with two big screens on it. I knew they were going to take up a lot of space. This corner desk is really, really deep and roomy, uh, but it can very much, you know, it can get really cluttered. Um, so basically what I've got going on here is I had this Martha Stewart craft mat that I've had forever and I actually was inspired by uh, Tony from A Bowl Full of Lemons when I saw a photo of her craft mat like that I was like that's a really good use for that mat I wasn't using it for anything else I just pulled it out for craft projects from time to time and that really helps protect my desktop even with the acrylic uh, I have the acrylic desk protectors on. They, those get messed up really easily and they're not inexpensive. So I really like having the craft mat. I don't have to worry about it at all. Um, and it's gray. It's beautiful. It goes with the blue. I also um, really have uh, very little on the desk. Um, I try to keep as little as possible so that I can have a lot of deep room here. Um, you can see my uh, laptop is right there, that's my, uh, my MacBook Pro, and I have that so I can just pull that out whenever I want to use it, like so, and open it up. Um, and it's like, you know, easy breezy. And then when I don't want to use it, I just push it back and it tucks so nicely between the two desks, which is great. Um, so that's why I keep this as clear as possible. The only things now on my desktop that are on there all the time is this little pad of note paper that I use to take notes, my worry stone, because you know, sometimes you need that. And this little notepad that was a gift um, from a viewer. And I also keep all of my memory cards in there just for easy access. And that's basically it. At any given time, I have my phone and my water and maybe a cup of tea or something. But that's, that's the main stuff. I also found this basket at Target, which I don't keep up here all of the time. But when I have some extra things, um, I just you know, when I want a place to put things, um, like the box for my new vlogging camera that I'm not sure if I like or not, and some other things. I have my vlogging camera in there as well. And I pull that away when I'm filming so you don't see it in my backsplash. This is the backsplash that you see in a lot of my videos when I'm filming. Um, just sit down videos, especially on my other two channels.
And of course, I have to have a couple of tchotchkes, but I really cleared the tchotchkes away. Like, this is all we've got. I've got the world's tiniest vase, which I had purchased at a craft fair in Evanston about a decade ago. And this little felted bunny that Don gave me for Easter, which is super cute. And that's basically it for Mr. Desktop there. I don't know why it's a mister, but apparently it is. Then on the right side here, of course, we've got our modem. I have my GPS watch, which I charge in my computer, so I just keep it, sta it stays there. And the phone, nothing that exciting about that. But I do have this really weird contraption. A lot of you are probably like, what the heck is that? I really needed a good quality lamp. Um, and I was just couldn't find anything that was really sleek and wouldn't take up a lot of room and wouldn't get too hot. So I didn't want anything with like a like a big shade or anything kind of draping over my screens. Well, I found this on um, Amazon. It's an LED lamp, I believe. It's really not attractive, but it's extremely effective. It has different settings um, for light. I love that I can like pull it down, especially like when I'm doing my nails, <laughs> to be honest, that comes in really handy. Um, and uh, it has different, um, you know, you can adjust how bright it is, which I like a lot. And it doesn't get hot, which is awesome. And it doesn't pull a lot of power. Um, I'm pulling a lot of power out of this corner of the room between all of my electronics, so it's nice to have something that's pulling a little bit less power. I also like that it folds up flat like that, so it's not like a huge big thing. I know it's not attractive, I agree. It's really, it's ugly as sin, but what can you do? <laughs> about it. And then this side of the desk, um, which is really where my extra area is, uh, you know, my, my most room, I guess, that isn't being used for electronics, I took away the Pottery Barn um, sorter, like desktop sorter I had, because I found that I didn't really want to have my pens on the, I didn't need my pens on the desk, and I really didn't need that lateral uh, storage either. And what I did was I purchased this um, drawer set from the container store and I will zoom in on it a bit so you guys can see. It says, the top drawer says bills and filing and the bottom one says uh, sort and action. So what I keep in the top drawer is exactly what it sounds like, my bills and filing, which I aim to look at once a week. I usually on Fridays or Saturdays will go spend, you know, 30 minutes or so going through my bills and filing, paying things and sorting. So that drawer gets um, sorted once a week. And um, I just, it's just so easy to have it in a drawer now and it's not like I'll, I don't know, I had a, a mail sorter before but I wasn't really using it and this is just, I've been using this for a few weeks now, it's a much better system. And in the bottom drawer it says uh, sort and action and those are more long term things. And I look in that drawer every time I do the bills and filing but some of the things stay in there for a while. Um, and it's more like coupons and clippings and things I want to put somewhere eventually but don't necessarily have a place for right now. And then I just bought this really beautiful acrylic tray from Erin Condren. Um, it is so gorgeous. It's the smaller size in the um, same pattern as my Erin um, Condren Time Planner. Um, and that's my outgoing tray. Also my to blog tray. Um, so right now I don't have any outgoing things in there. Occasionally I'll have outgoing mail or notes or things that I pop in there so I know that they have to be taken you know, somewhere else. But other things that I keep in there are things I have to blog about and right now it's nail polish. I have my Jewel Up Maven box from April I want to blog about and uh, the current polish I'm wearing for Positively Polished. Um, so I just really like the way it looks and it keeps everything neat and I always know when I have outgoing things because they go in there. And I do keep my two planners open um, when I am working at the desk and I'm you know, usually at my desk most of the day. Um, I keep my Erin Condren Time Planner underneath my A5 file of facts and I have videos on both of those planners which I will link in here for you guys if you are like, why do you have two planners? I'm so curious. I've got a lot of videos explaining all of that so you can go check it out. I did buy one additional piece for the desk. Like I said, taking away the desktop hutch actually took away a bunch of my desktop organization and I kind of missed um, having those extra drawers and things. So I, fought, I bought this little cabinet from the container store during their office sale, which was earlier uh, this spring and it was greatly reduced. I think it was about 33% off and it's not an inexpensive filing you know, drawer 
thing. Uh, but it fits so nicely in the space that every other thing I tried that I, I had some plastic drawers on hand, they didn't fit, they were too big. This fits like a glove. And you can see there's still plenty of room for Winnie's bed. There she is. And I have my little um, tub, just like I did before in my last update, where I keep things that I'm going to be filming about. So I have my Knit Create package, I'm gonna film that soon, and some books I wanna talk about in my Miscellaneous Monthlies video on the Busy Bee Buzz channel. Um, but in here, I'm gonna take you through the drawers as best I can. I went ahead and labeled them, and this is my like first run at these drawers, so nothing's, you know, for permanent. <laughs> When it comes to organization, I, I believe in flexible organization. Um, but basically, I took a lot of the things out of my drawers that felt a little bit cluttered and the things that were used to be in my hutch, and I put them in here. So this top drawer is for fasteners, and I bought a couple of these inserts that fit well into this drawer unit. You can see I have paper clips and uh, binder clips of all shapes and sizes. Um, as well as some white out and some, you know, an eraser and some backup batteries, things like that. And this quarter is for my, um, what's it called? Um, the tripod, the mount, the head, the mount for the camera. Um, and then underneath I have pens and such, because I didn't know how else to label it. And I, this is, these are the pens I use most of the time. Um, and I really don't use more pens than this on a daily basis for regular, you know, everyday things. And I thought maybe I'd be annoyed by having them in the t a drawer, but it's actually really, really nice. I can find the color pen I want or the pencil or whatever really easily because they're nicely laid out. Again, I have another insert in here that was sold alongside this uh, cabinet system. Um, and it's actually, when I'm sitting in my chair, it's at the perfect reach to get a pen. It's just so easy. Um, I also have a calculator and some screwdrivers and things in there. The next drawer down is labeled randomness because I honestly, I don't know. And I need to get some sort of organizational components for it that are shallow enough to fit in here. But these are things that I, you know, I reach for a lot, um, but I don't need them in, you know, cluttering out my dress, my desk drawers. Um, so it's like lotion and a little, some candies and my lighter so I can light my candles and all of my iPod pods that nobody uses anymore. <laughs> um, so that's what's in randomness drawer. And the next few drawers down are dedicated to my planner decorating, basically, and my planner supplies. Um, and I've started getting into a little bit of planner decorating. I have a pocket-sized planner I've been just been having fun with. Um, so this drawer is just fun stuff. Um, I have a very small collection of washi tape, and it's just all my little cute little flags and little paper clips and, you know, post-it notes and fun pens and things. So that's just to keep that at easy reach, because I usually, when I'm doing that, I'm sitting at my desk here. And then the next door down is all of my backup planner supplies, and this includes paper refills and, um, you know, extra rulers and things that snap into my file facts. And then this drawer down is for my new sticker organization, and I haven't done it yet, but I actually saw this on Instagram, and now I can't remember whose account I saw it from, but they had bought one of the small Martha Stewart home office, um, binders and use that to organize their sticker collection and I'm going to be working on that soon. And then the last drawer that's full here is for my computer accessories and this was stuff that I had mainly stored in my hutch before. Um, so I've got my CD drive and a lot of small um, external hard drives and some extra cords and things. Like that. I access them on a more regular basis. I do have a drawer for um, I mean a bin, I mean for computer accessories that I don't access all the time up on my floating uh, shelf system. And then the last drawer is empty room to grow. Um, and I did, you know, the cord organization is still the same. Um, I have everything in my little cord box, which I love. I will link the cord management video that I filmed last year below because it's the same um, organization. And it's just, I mean, there are so many cords, you guys, and you really don't see that many. I mean, obviously, nobody's usually kneeling on the floor looking at my desk, but you don't see any when you're really um, at eye level, which I really like a lot. Um, and the last thing I did, my, um, oh, it's going to be a little bit hard to see. Oh, I think you can see it. But my um, hutch had a, um, a power strip for it, like built into it, which was really nice. And that's where I, I charged all my camera batteries. 
um, and things like that. And so now I just have the that uh, power strip, additional power strip on top of this cabinet. You really can't see it, but I can reach easily to get my camera batteries and I can plug in a few extra things like my lamp and the phone and stuff um, that don't fit in the other in the other section. Last but not least, I'll show you the one drawer that changed the most, um, although it didn't change an incredibly large amount, and it's my top right hand desk drawer. Uh, and I just put my tape dispensers and my stapler in the drawer. I realized I really didn't need those on the desk. Again, they were stored in the hutch before. They work nicely in there. I just grab them when I need them. And I just shuffled some things around. There's a little bit more room now. Um, there's not so much stuff packed in here, uh, which is working out well. I mainly have my massive collection of post-it notes and list, you know, pads of list pads and um, my labeler. All the other drawers are the same. I did get a request to show the office. Honestly, the organization of it is the same as my last update. Um, I'll give you a my camera a second here to focus. It's trying. Okay, there we go. Um, it's it's really the same, you guys. There's not a lot new to share. I have some spring stuff out right now. That's my filming backsplash. My project um, my project table is still the same. I have these new lamps. I guess those are new. Um, I wanted something a lot less we uh, unwieldy than the big softbox lights I was filming with before. I still have my diva ring. That's that really bright thing right there. Um, but I've been using those and it's working okay. I, I haven't got quite it down to the ideal system yet, but uh, everything else is the same between my bookshelves. I mean, you can see they look exactly the same. I have a pile of stuff I have to sort in the corner, but we always have a pile of stuff somewhere, don't we? Um, oh, it just got so dark. There we go. And, you know, my grooming desk absolutely the same and the only other change right there at the corner is um, this a new guy this is a um, photography like a lit photography station to do um, close-ups and things I got it on Amazon I'll link it below if you guys are interested it works really well though and I honestly I just use the light the most I take when I'm doing filming my close-ups especially for the busy bee buzz I'll take that light and I will put it um, over on this table here and be able to film my my close-ups um, which is nice but as you can see everything else is the same still kind of my little colorful vibe going I really like the way the colors are in this room um, but yeah this is basically it I'm really digging the new desktop organization um, I guess it could look a little bit more streamlined but it suits me um, I like things to be kind of colorful and playful oh the garage is opening that's what that noise is sorry you guys <laughs> my office is right over the garage um, so the, it suits me and it's really just very functional because there's just not a lot of stuff on the desk right now which is really nice. Uh, one last thing I will mention is this basket here. You guys know I love my Reason Full Market baskets. This is the basket that I carry up and down the stairs many times a day. Um, at the, It mostly stays in my office. Um, so. What happens is, it's in my office all day, it has all of my knitting projects and all my different journals and books I'm reading and things like that. At the end of the day, I will put my planners in there and I will take this into the bedroom and then before I go to bed, I do my planning for the next day. Then I have everything that I need in my one basket and in the morning when I wake up, I take it downstairs and while I'm eating breakfast, I'll work on some journaling and things in the, in the basket and then after breakfast, it comes back up here to the office and um, it stays in here. But it's also handy if I have things I need to take down or bring up. Um, I always just love having baskets to do that with. Um, so that's that's it. I think I think the desk, you know, it's suiting me. It looks really clean to me. This is clean. Um, and uh, I just, it's just a much better work environment for me, for my neck, and just in general, I just have so much more space now with the computer monitors, um, and so much more space on the desk too, which is nice. I even have like a really big external hard drive hiding behind the desk that you can't see right now. It's a Drobo, and it fits there perfectly, um, which is nice. Uh, so that is, that's my new updated desktop organization. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I've done with my desktop um, and also the peek at my office which 
honestly has not changed really except for the one like photo thing I was showing you guys because um, it's working for me uh, but I do spend most of my time in this room at this desk at this corner desk and I just needed it to function better for me considering the amount of time I spend um, on the computer um, and the addition of the monitor like I said it's just been a, it's just been a dream and it's just really working out for me um, and I really like the setup of the desk uh, you know, it's it's me. It might not suit everybody. It might seem too cluttered to some people. It might not seem like cluttered at all to others. To me, it seems just right. It seems perfect, and it's working really well. And I love my dedicated drawer spaces um, that's, that have kind of taken the place of my hutch, which I was using, as it turns out, for quite a bit of organization. Um, the little drawer organizer on my desk from the container store, and that tray from Erin Condren, which is beautiful all very functional and nice looking um, and they don't take up too much room. I can still put my planners on my desk next to me during the day which is what I like to do. I like to have them open all day long. And then the Bisley or Beasley, I don't even know how to say it, but the really nice uh, drawer that fits like a glove under my desk is just perfect. It's just the most perfect piece and it's a way for me to store things right at my fingertips um, in kind of a hidden, you know, it's not like I have a bunch of drawers on top of my desk. No, they're all tucked away nice and neat under my desk and you can't really see them unless you come and look, <laughs> which I like a lot. So it's working out really, really well for me and I'm really, really enjoying it. So I wanted to do a special giveaway because I feel like I've been kind of absent from this channel and um, you guys know I love Erin Condren, I love My Life Planner. Um, I do have a coupon code for first time buyers and every time you guys uh, buy something using my link I get a credit back and in the past I've been able to give away so far $2,000 worth of gift cards. I've given away 20 $100 gift cards. Um, uh, over the past couple of months in different uh, videos and blog posts and if you guys have been with me you know about that and I keep accumulating referral credits and I love this tray that I recently got and I thought some of you might love to have something similar or anything else from Erin Condren. You don't have to buy this tray if you win but I thought I'd host another giveaway. There will be eight winners each who will win $125 gift card uh, to Erin Condren and I'm going to send e-gift -car e cards so they will be sent through email I won't be sending them in the mail I figured this is just easier to get it right away and I don't have to worry about things getting lost in the mail um, uh, but why $125? Uh, well that's because this beautiful tray which is upside down is $119 um, if you buy it like this and I think with shipping and stuff that it wouldn't, I think it'd be about right. So um, that's why I picked that number, and there will be eight winners. And it's really easy to enter to win. Just head on over to my coordinating blog post, there'll be a link below, and instructions on how to enter. Uh, the giveaway will run for one week's time, uh, at which point I will contact the winners directly through email, um, as well as post them on the original blog post. Uh, and it is open internationally. I just ask that if you're under the age of 18, you have parental permission. And like I said, eight winners, 125 bucks. You don't have to get a tray. I just thought since I shared the tray in the video, I would share the love. Um, but you could get a, a time planner, you could get something else, you could you get labels or stickers or stationery or what have you. They keep expanding their product line. They just added address books, which are beautiful. Um, so there's lots of Lots of fun things there. And if you haven't purchased from them before and you win, I recommend, you know, using my, uh, you, if you click on my referral link, I think you get $10 off your first order. But I will have all of that uh, information below for you guys if you're interested. Um, thank you for clicking on my referral link. I'm trying to give back um, as much as I can with these giveaways and we'll just keep them coming. As long as you guys keep clicking on the link, I will keep sending prizes your way. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to be uh, launching a new series in May all about clothing and accessories organization as I'm updating my closet here as well as at our Utah home where I'm going to be for a little bit next month um, and my dresser drawer organization and my vanity. So I'm going to have lots of goodness coming up for that kind of thing if you're interested to see how I am currently organizing my clothing and accessories and maybe it will give you some tips and 
tricks for how to organize your own. Um, but I will see you really soon with the beginning of that series. And in the meantime, I hope you are well. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend and take care. Thanks for watching, you guys. Bye.